Maddox and Jet make out Corbin Blur walks in and kills Jet, Jet dies he then makes out with Jet's dead body. Maddox kills Corbin and Maddox makes out with Corbin's dead body. On opening night, Gina kills Ricky because he bumped into her by accident. Nini makes out with Gina, but Gina cheats on her with Edge so she kills them both. Then Mrs. Jen has a secret about being homophobic so she kills Carlos, Seb, Ashlyn, Big Red. But then, Mrs. Jen kills the whole school because she is a baddie. But then Nini is still in here so they both make out with each other and they all get turned into lunch fal eats everyone and becomes Thanos. Carlos and Seb will climb up the side of East High together on their anniversary and Seb will fall off the roof, rip Seb. Gina will go skydiving and her parachute will break. Ricky will try to save her by stealing Corbin's helicopter, but he just ends up slicing her into a loaf of bread. EJ ends up breaking her fall with his reindeer costume. They get back together and Ricky crashes the helicopter into East High. Ricky and Gina break up. Gina ends up liking Courtney and how he has feelings for Edge. Lily will stalk Ricky and Ricky will end up liking Edge. Ricky XEJ for life. Okay, okay just picture this. EJ has one last night he wants to remember with everyone. He chose to go to St. Louis because of Gina. When he's about to leave, Gina goes to say goodbye privately and somehow ends with a kiss. Gina starts mumbling what have I done, and he just keeps smiling Ricky finds out and he's chill about it cause that's how he is. Okay so we start with like a end of summer party at Ashlyn's house duh and Mr. Jen reveals the full show then it is the first day of school and Ricky is in his bedroom sleeping in when Gina starts calling him because he was late to pick him up so he jumps out of bed and starts getting ready to go pick up Gina. When they get to school they see a bunch of cameras and video stuff. Then they go meet up with the theater crew and see that Maddox and Jet transferred to East High. Ricky and Jet have a cute little moment. Then they go to some pep rally thing and the principal announces that they are filming HSM4 in the school. Everyone starts freaking out when the cast walks in and introduces themselves. Then after school they have auditions and Gina and Ricky get the lead duh. Later that night Elton John shows up at Gina's house and they have a conversation like this. Edge what are you doing here I thought your dad made you go to that one school named after him yeah that didn't really work out okay but what what are you doing here I need help with something not trying to be rude but why didn't you go to Ashlyn because Ashlyn can be a lot sometimes and you get me yeah I guess she can what's up okay so Corbin called me and asked if I wanted to help co directed the new age SM movie Edge that's amazing you should definitely do it yeah but even the summer musical was kinda stressful to direct yeah but you did amazing and you'll do amazing again Gina I don't know but I do edge you have to it's a once in a lifetime opportunity I guess you're right I'll do it's good night Gina good night edge. Okay so the wildcats will be back at East High starting the school, Rena is probably together. Elton John will be at Street Louie but will visit Salt Lake BC his family is there but I have an idea if they bring Nini as a guest star Iggy J can be Nini's manager, Ashlyn and Val will be together but, long distance, but Maddox still has feelings for Ashlyn and gets mad and Voila love triangle. IDK at the Ridlin situation Gina will probably be lovey-dovey with Ricky and vice versa but when Edge comes to visit things will get awkward Seblis will thrive as always. Ricky is Troy Maddox is Gabriella Jet is Chad Courtney or Gina will play Taylor Ashlyn is Ms. Darbus the trailer or the Frozen doc will be released and we will see the footage and what if there was footage of in the doc or trailer. Nini and EJ talking about the PW breakup that wasn't shown on the finale episode. EJ asked Nini to buy a necklace for Gina before they went to camp and Nini giving him the necklace but EJ say you can keep ITY. EJ explains the breakup it's not too late to get back together she's probably gonna get together with Ricky why Ricky. Ricky and Gina have been awfully close these past few days really. Yeah what about the necklace I said it's yours you're not gonna try and get her back oh believe me when I tried to get you I wrote a cringy song that and not singing because of Ricky oh well I mean I'm flattered but seriously EJ you got her her back I. Mean do you love her I was supposed to say that tonight after the show with the necklace and yes I do to bits and pieces I won't let anything hurt she's too precious I don't think I can let anyone lay a finger on her and because because I love her that's the spirit go forth Duke of the East EJ sees Ricky and Gina got together goes back to Nini and says it's too late they're together now oh no I'm so sorry are you okay yep I'm fine hey there are others not like her hey you are going to St. Louis right yes yeah, since Jamie said that will be in St. Louis for most of the time I have something to ask you what will you be my manager Oh of course this will probably get my mind of Gina so what do you say? Alright let's get this show on the road welcome to the team. Cause well this talk is only between the two of us. Okay it's our little secret deal then end of doc or trailer. 
Edge and Nini see the dock or trailer having a shocked because they thought no one was recording them for Miss Jen and Mr. Bowen they may have some fight stuff after the honeymoon phase of their relationship and Miss Jen goes to Mr. Mazar I want, a hospital scene or a Robbie vs. Miguel from Cobra Kai from Edge and Ricky Lowell.